Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the type tool in Adobe Illustrator CSX. So first we're going to select the type tool and click on our artboard. We're now going to start typing. Hello, nice to see you. Let's select this type object and uh, scroll through the different fonts that are available. You can use the arrow keys of your keyboard to sc scroll through or you can select a font that you like. I think I'm going to stick with Arial for this particular example. And uh, now you can change the size of the font as well the same way, scrolling up and down using your arrow keys or typing it in, in that box. Uh, let me see. I think I want a bigger font. I am going to be at 50. All right, what else do we need to know about the font tool? We can change the stroke of the font. The stroke of the font uh, at this point is set to nothing. Uh, I'm going to select a red stroke. Uh, the stroke can have a thickness also. So in this case, it's uh, one point. If we set it to zero, you see the red disappears, which means there is no stroke. And you can scroll up and down and the stroke becomes uh, bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave it to one. Now we are going to have a different color fill because sometimes black can be boring. I like green, so I'm going to select green. And this is what we're going to have. Now if you want to play around or fidget around with the individual uh, characters, uh, one good way of doing so would be to convert this object to outlines. What this will allow you to do is now um, manipulate each one of these outline shapes uh, in ways that are in keeping with the theme of your project. So now that I have uh, converted this to outline, I'm just going to ungroup all of these and then select um, H just to show you what I mean. You can make the edge bigger, you can make the end bigger, and so on and so forth. So um, what else can we do with this? We can also, here's the fun part, we can also give these letters personalities by altering these outlines. So for example, I'm going to use the pen tool to uh, remove this point and see you can change your alphabet. Um, once you have converted into uh, converted it into a outline. Now, um, maybe I can change the L a little bit too. Let's see. Select the pen tool. No. One more time. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So you see, you see um, how we can make use of the outlines. There. You can play around with this to get an effect uh, consistent with the theme of your project. Now, uh, let's see what else can we do with the type tool. We can type on a path. So to do that, first what I'm going to do is I am going to create a path on our our artboard and here's the way to do that you know get an approximate shape that you're looking for so you see it's using my previous setting for color preferences I do not want a fill, want a fill, so I'm going to remove the fill, and I do not want a stroke, so I'm going to remove the stroke. So now we just have a clean path. Let's use the uh, type on path tool and start typing. Oh, doesn't like the dot. Okay, the paths. Uh, the font's too big, so what we can do 
is make it a little smaller. There you go. All right, so now we have text that is typed on a path. Let's change the color to a nice uh, purpley pink. There you go. You can also type on a vertical path uh, the same way. Let me just quickly show you what that would look like. Let's draw a vertical path. Okay, there you go. I'm going to take out the fill and there is no stroke if you see that. Let's use the vertical paths tool, type tool. There you go. And because of the way the vertical type tool works, you may have to use a smaller font. Let's say 18. Hello. Nice to see you. Great. So this is what it looks like. And let's have a nice color for that. Let's a nice blue. Maybe make it bolder so we can see it better. So that's your type on a vertical path. What else can you do with the type tool? You can type inside an area and one way to do that would be to draw an area or a closed object and I do not want to fill on this so that's that let's let's, let's move this guy over here and perhaps rotate it around a little bit and start typing inside the area using the area type So you see, and, and you'll see the effect. It will type inside the text. Okay, and let's just make the color different, just because. Okay, so we have these different effects now. I'm going to move this over here a little bit. The next thing I want to show you is tracking and leading. So let me just type out something over here using the type tool. Let's see, I want a bigger font. Hello. Sun, shine. Okay. And let's choose this color. Okay. Right, what can we do with this using tracking and leading? Now, if you want to, if you want to increase the spaces between the gaps between the different letters, you can use tracking to do that. And one way to do that would be from your um, character window, and just increase the tracking, and you'll see what's going on. Um, you're getting a different effect. Um, now let's say we had this in different lines. Hello, sunshine. You can use leading to increase or decrease the space between the two lines. We need to select the text for that. Let's see. So I can increase the, tech, uh, the spaces between the two lines or I can decrease it using the leading window. There are several other things that we can do. Um, obviously the, the, there, is, there is your superscript, there is your subscript. Let's make another one. And let's move it there. Superscript. So you see that? 
Um, what else can we do? There is something um, called as all caps, which will make it all caps. And we have something different called as called as small caps. And you'll we'll see what it looks like. So it's all caps, but the first letter um, of your word is bigger than the rest. You can also, yeah, this, this is a cool one. You can also have a baseline shift. What that means is we can shift the different words by a given point size. So, for example, I can say move this by four points and then move this by five points. Actually, let's make me move this by four points. So that's your baseline shift. Now, the last thing I think I want to talk about is uh, 3D, 3D on the type tool. So let's just type something here. Hello, my. Use a nice color. Uh, select it. Do that. The fill of this. And a slightly bigger font. Okay, there you go. Now I can apply a 3D effect, extrude and bevel. And I think this is how I want it to look. Review, here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. I think the color is really dark. We can change that. It's this color, and you get a better idea of 3D effect. So that's, that's all for now. Play around with it and see what else you can do with the type tool. Enjoy, until next time.